Greetings! This is Robin's Book Club episode 43 and today we're looking at Paul Strand, Masters of Photography. A really amazing sort of introduction I think to the work of Paul Strand. He lived from 1890 to 1976 and he truly is one of the Masters of Photography. That's where they got the name of the book from. And uh, if you would like to purchase a copy uh, or check it out for yourself then there is an affiliate link in the text below. Also if you're watching this before Valentine's Day, the 14th of February 2022, don't forget to get involved with our competition to win a copy of and it might even be my copy of the book because it looks like it's sold out most places to win a copy of american geography by matt black uh, you need to see the videos for that which are further down the playlist anyway back to strand uh, a contemporary of some of the great photographers including stieglitz and weston and stieglitz in fact uh, credited his work from 1915 to 1917 as helping to redefine photography uh, also you should look up photo league the photo league which uh, has a very interesting kind of history but included some incredible names lewis hine connected with that minor white and Adams and you'll find beautiful beautiful photography by Paul Strand throughout this book. There's a short but uh, informative introductory essay from Mark Howarth Booth which I'll just read you a couple of bits from. The great symbol that emerged from this period is Blind Woman 1916. The portrait conveys qualities, endurance, isolation, the curious alertness of the blind or nearly blind and a surprising beauty. The whole concept of blindness is aimed like a weapon at those whose privilege of sight permits them to experience the picture. Although he excluded bystanders from the picture strand included everyone who sees it it's a powerful photo isn't it and uh, howarth booth concludes strand once called photography the symbol of a great impersonal struggle a symbol of all young and new desire his photographs are symbols rooted in the world they show us that abstract qualities are implanted there by culture justice and desire burn in faces foliage and even offense as in all great art the photographs of paul strand transcend their own immediacy a feat of eloquence that makes their presence enduring and that was one of the things i thought looking through this work and i hope that you think of it too even though he's photographing you know 100 years ago or or 50 years ago at sort of the very least there's a real timelessness to these photographs particularly the portraits of people remarkable work we'll look at some of my favorites at the end
Paul Strand, Masters of Photography, a book by Aperture and a remarkable book. When I spoke at the uh, when I spoke at the start of this video about the timelessness of some of the photos, it was really portraits like this which just stood out to me as being I don't know, just so remarkable. There's nothing in there to date that. There's nothing in there to give away anything other than the fact that we are looking directly into that man and and actually he's looking directly at us as well, isn't he? A great portrait, truly great. I've been thinking recently about photographs which are perhaps technically not perfect. And, and this is a great example of that, isn't it? You know, the focus is, is not quite right or there's been, well, I think it's the focus rather than the movement. But uh, this is not, quote unquote, a perfect portrait. And yet in so many ways, it is a perfect portrait. How can we apply that to our own work? It's difficult, isn't it? Particularly in this day and age, I think, where everybody expects perfection in everything. This just strikes me as being a very, very strong example of what you could do with uh, architectural photography uh, to make it so much more. Uh, think about the technique involved in this photo, first of all. Yes, go and learn, go and learn the zone system. I'm sure you're going to need to. And, you know, actually, joking aside, why not learn the zone system? But even more joking aside, you know, just think about the fact that photography is all about mastering the light. And we're back with another incredibly strong portrait. I'm not sure that uh, overalls or dungarees and uh, knitwear vests go all that well together. But uh, goodness me, if I could take a portrait as good as that, that's probably all I would do. I've included this photo here because I actually do have the book that this comes from. And it's, uh, it's a fantastic book. So perhaps should we do that in a few episodes time? Maybe we should. Uh, his work in, in the Scottish Islands. And finally, I suspect if you can take a photo as good as this of foliage, <laughs> then you truly are worthy of the title Masters of Photography. Something to think about, isn't it? Any of us could take a photo like that, but could we take a photo as good as that? Possibly not. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Robin's Book Club. Give us a like and a subscribe, because actually it makes me incredibly happy. It really does. And uh, we'll see you next time when we're doing something a little bit different. You'll find out all about it in a few days' time.